Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Mount Dirklink. Uh, in uh, this episode I want to build a small ride here. Um, I took the idea from Raspberry Acres, uh, a really nice park from Terry Inferno. You can uh, download it from our uh, park showcase on, uh, on our Discord. Really recommend uh, you to check it out. But something he has in his park is a nice rock climbing wall. And he has made that using a, a monorail cycle and some vertical track in the in a downward launch mode. Um, yeah, it is actually a quite fun ride to watch. Uh, it's also quite simple uh, to build. So uh, I'm going to build a few next to each other here, just to make it look like guests will are climbing uh, an ice wall here. Okay, I'm uh, going to start with some uh, landscaping here, just uh, to prepare the land here for uh, the actual ice wall. Okay, I've done some simple landscaping here. In order to make the ice wall, uh, I'm going to use uh, a piece of scenery that's not used very often, which is this uh, Goliath sign. Uh, you may not think of uh, this when doing rock work, but actually uh, some of these textures uh, uh, are actually great for making uh, some nice looking rocks. You can see if we uh, look at the back side of the sign, Oh yeah, these uh, textures, I think they're great for making rock work. Uh, I'm going to uh, remove a few of them just to, just to check them out uh, for a bit. Um, yeah, these uh, these sides here in the middle, not sure how useful they are, but the back side of these uh, uh, characters looks look uh, pretty useful to me. Now, in order to make it look like ice, uh, I'm going to stack a few of these and I'm going to put uh, some uh, light colored glass in front and that should make it look uh, uh, credible. Okay, here's our uh, ice wall. I kind of like this uh, texture uh, that we have on it now. It uh, does actually look a bit uh, rocky and uh, with the glass in front, I think it gives it a nice uh, color. So all that's left to do now is to build the actual uh, rides. And for that, we're gonna use a launched freefall uh, or actually we, we'll, we can probably use an observation tower since it already has the correct operating mode. And then we'll put uh, one of these monorail cycles uh, on it. Now, uh, I'm not really sure on which side the vehicle will spawn. Uh, we'll, we'll have to find th that out by uh, building and testing one of these. Okay, this uh, seems to be working. So when a guest gets on it, uh, he will be on this bike, but uh, the bike will ba be barely visible. And it will sort of look like the guest is actually climbing up this uh, wall here, made of ice. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's pretty. Uh, that's a pretty good trick from the guest. So uh, my plan is to make several of these rides next to one another, so it will look like uh, several guests will be climbing up and down this wall here. Okay, now that the rides have been built, uh, well, I'll make them invisible later, but the first thing I have to do is connect their entrances and exits. Well, I'm thinking of just making a little ice cave here. Um, I don't know, just for the guests to walk through. I think that would be a, a fun, exciting attraction for the guests to actually walk through a real ice cave. And I will also uh, connect the exits for these rides there. And I'll uh, find a way to connect the entrances here in the front with a small queue.
All right, the ride seems to be working nicely. Also, the entrances and exits. Um, yeah, it was a bit of a hassle placing them here, but uh, it worked in the end. So, uh, yeah, I just moved the entrances and exits in a bit into the ride. That just gave me a little bit of extra space here to uh, make some uh, little cues for the guests. And they will exit just uh, uh, yeah to the back of this ride inside this uh, ice uh, cave. So, uh, yeah, I'm just uh, going to uh, decorate it a bit more here. Maybe I'll uh, try to find a way to put a nice sign here saying something like uh, ice climbing. Perhaps here at the top uh, would be nice. I'll uh, figure something out. So, yeah, the, I'll just uh, start uh, decorating the stuff here now. Okay, I think this ride uh, needs a ride attendant. Um, the, the people who ride this probably will need some instructions. So uh, I will add a patron here as uh, as the ride attendant. So I'll just make a piece of path here. And I'll just uh, let uh, uh, an entertainer uh, walk around here to give all the riders uh, instructions for this ride. Okay, and the ride attendant for this ride will be Chuggers. He's been a patron for quite a while. So it's uh, nice to also see him uh, as a patron in my park. He's hurt it. I think this is a really nice uh, spot for him. So yeah, uh, if you're uh, watching this video, Chuggers, uh, I hope you enjoy this spot. I will now just make these paths invisible. I think that's a really nice spot for a uh, ride attendant. Okay, um, I will just uh, continue decorating for a while and uh, after that I'll finish the episode. Okay, that was uh, enough building for me uh, for this episode. Um, I really enjoyed this ride uh, put together here. Uh, once again, um, uh, I want to, uh, uh, yeah, I stole this ride from uh, this ride idea from Terry Inferno. Uh, well, I didn't steal it; I borrowed it. Um, like I said, if you haven't seen this park, Raspberry Acres, uh, please check it out. It's an absolutely amazing park. Uh, I often go to it to uh, look for uh, inspiration or ideas. Um, so yeah, uh, you can find the park in my par in the park showcase on my Discord, and there's also several other spots where you can find the park. It's an amazing park, so uh, please go and check it out. But yeah, I'm really happy with this little ice climbing ride uh, I made here, and uh, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoy it as well. All right, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this episode, and I'll see you again in the next episode. See you later.